This is the plaintiff, Yvette Reed. She says her neighbor borrowed a very special edition of Essence magazine, lost it, and now owes her big time. This was an exclusive, hard-to-find issue dealing with men and love. She can't find the issue on the internet. The crazy defendants threatened her with physical harm, and it's time to settle things here at the People's Court. She's suing for $2,000 for not returning the March issue and threatening bodily harm. This is the defendant, Cynthia. She says she had to move out of her apartment for painting and somehow lost the plaintiff's magazine. The woman's retaliated by putting garbage in front of her door, and she has pictures to prove it. She says her neighbor seems to be off her rocker because she's suing for two grand for a $3.50 magazine. Ha! Ah, good luck. She's accused of having an issue with a neighbor. The defendant has filed a countersuit for $2,000 for aggravation and harassment. All parties, please raise your right hand. Be seated. Come forward, please. Litigants have been sworn, Your Honor. Thank you, Joseph. You're welcome, ma'am. Yvette Reed? Yes. You are suing Cynthia. You've asked us to refer to you only by your first name. Your neighbor for $2,000, $1,000 of it for a magazine she borrowed and has not returned and 1,000 of it for threatening bodily harm towards you. You have a counterclaim for 2,000 for aggravation and harassment. Let's start with you. Tell me what's going on. Yes, basically back in November of last year, I had a book, uh, Essence Magazine. It had a book unique, or a magazine? It's a magazine, Essence Magazine, mm -hmm. it's called. And what basically I did is Miss uh, Cynthia wanted to borrow it. So I allowed her to borrow it uh, with the basis of returning it back to me. I forgot about it until this year. What I did is I also had um, contacted her both twice, face to face, twice. And also, I also let her know in writing when I would see her in court for small claims at that time. Over what, a magazine? Bodily harm also, Judge. Okay, we're gonna talk about the bodily harm in a second, but first I wanna understand, you loaned your neighbor a magazine? Yes. That cost $3. Three ninety nine plus tax. Forgive me, my mistake. Now I understand. <laughs> <laughs> Three ninety nine plus tax. Your neighbor does not return it, and you don't even remember that, that you even loaned it to her. Months pass, and then you file a lawsuit over the magazine. Only, according to you, it's two hundred dollars a month for Correct. not returning your magazine because it had unique articles in it. What kind of? I want to read the articles that are worth two hundred dollars a month in a magazine that you can get online at the public library, or probably by contacting Essence. But go ahead, tell me that's the That's the problem. I could not contact Essence. I tried to get a number with them in New York. I could not contact them. Why not? Why don't you just go online and get it? I don't have a computer. Why don't you go to the public library and get the back issue that's so know. valuable? But first, tell me what unique articles mm. did it have? It talked about men in love. Oh, that's so unique. They never do that. No, they Magazines never do. Magazines never talk about <laughs> no. men and love Ever, ever. <laughs> What's really going on? Basically, Cynthia had threatened me. I don't know how the argument started, but the fact is- You're not gonna tell me how the argument started? I don't remember. Tell me how the argument started. The argument started because she was having an issue with Juan. That's another who's neighbor. Who's Juan? Juan is the gentleman here. It's another neighbor in the building who's having issues with Miss Reed. He knocked on her door. I heard him knocking on her door and I informed Ms. Reed that he knocked on her door. I didn't know the issue was that severe to where she was gonna call the cops on him because when she knocked on the door, she wasn't even home. So she called the cops. Why is she calling the cops on a neighbor who knocked on her door? I'm not understanding you. Because they was having some type of issue over a radio, a CD player, and they was arguing about that and they stopped being friends. Um, Event what? Are you people like in fifth grade? Mm. I, no, Your Honor, I'm trying to figure okay, it out. I, 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 I have hereby insulted all fifth graders you throughout have. the nation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I understand. I need to take that back because they're, take back, back, cause they're so. not smarter than a fifth grade. <laughs> right. I, I agree with you. You know, and and so I, I was talking to Eva, trying to calm her down. Don't call the cops. You don't have no reason to call the cops. You have no proof why he was knocking on your door. And then she just turned the energy on me started using profanity towards me in front of my two-year-old son. Um, I'm a, I'm a, so on and so forth. And then it led to one thing to another. So I, when I took my son in the house, I was standing at the bottom of the steps and 
our so-called neighbor, because she has a partner in crime, goes upstairs and they start talking loud again. I'm standing at the bottom of the steps. And she said, is that fat still downstairs? At that point, oh, I'm telling you, it's so infantile, it's ridiculous. At that point, I told her to shut her mouth before I come up there and punch in her face. I never went upstairs. She slammed the door saying, I'm calling the cops. I'm slamming the so she wind up calling the police on me. He said that, um, that we look like two respectable women that work hard every day. How come we just can't stay away from each other? I stood there and I listened, okay? He didn't want to hear no excuses or whatever. Then she said, well, officer, she threatened me. I want to get an order of protection. So he told her that it wasn't a threat to use words. But if he come back out for the same complaint that he's locking us both up. Yeah, that's... Uh, <laughs> he's definitely busy. It's not, he sounds like, like, a yeah, <laughs> like a parent. Yeah, a parent talking yeah. to two little kids. You know, don't make me don't go make up me there, because if I go right. up there, I'm going to minister some justice. You're going to be some problems. That's right. All right, exactly. so was anybody arrested that day? Correct? No one was arrested that day. Okay, so the police come. You tell them that she's made a threat of bodily harm. That's correct. She came up on the landing near my house and said, I'm going to come up there and punch you in the face. Does she go up there and punch you? No, she does not, because I slammed the door and I told her I was calling the cops. So now you have a counterclaim against her for $2,000 for aggravation and harassment? <laughs> yes. Tell me about that. Since this been going on, I've been experiencing cigarette butts in front of my door. I've been experiencing them in the hall, two, three o'clock in the morning, talking loudly, telling the neighbors that's coming in. It starts from five in the morning to like one at night in the morning, from 5 a.m. to 1 a.m., how she's taking me to court and what she's suing me for. The whole entire building knows what's going on. It's the talk <laughs> of the building, for one. Um, just yesterday, I, had, I have an ACS case now. You have a child protective service? Yes, case? because Sunday morning when I walked out my door, ACS was banging my bell. And saying what? Saying that it was maltreatment to hear the baby crying all the time and he's being mistreated. And I leave home. Who hears the baby crying all the time? Apparently my neighbors, because one lived right across the hall from me. And Which he, one? The partner in crime? The partner in crime. And Miss Yvette sits in front of my window starting at 5 a.m. in the morning. So wait a second. Sits in front of your window or so her my window? window. Okay, so they, how do you know they called Child Protective Services? Because, because the, statement that, so the statements that they have made, uh, there was one time me and my husband had an altercation. Yes, couples do that. We've been married nine years, no, 10 No, no, couples don't have to do that. We don't have to, but no, we have gotten to they don't have to physically it. fight, no. But we have, it wasn't a physical, it was a, it was a verbal. Oh yeah, couples do that. It was verbals, <laughs> and my, 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 her neighbor, which was my friend too, was there. And I asked her to take the baby across the hall. And and I told him I was gonna whip his ass and I picked up a stick. She witnessed that, okay? So I told her to take the baby across the hall. And nothing never happened. You know, the cops came, it was settled. Only people that was there to witness that was her partner in crime and her yeah, husband. Yeah, so maybe you should, Child Protective Services okay. should be called. Maybe they need to do a little investigation and make sure everybody in that household's doing what's best for the two-year-old. I have Whatever. no problem with that. Stop. Did you call Child Protective Services? Yes, on? I did. Oh, At first, I did anonymously. At first, I did anonymously because I'm sick and tired of hearing that baby cry morning, noon, and night. How close do you live to her apartment? I don't live that close. Well, then how are I'm you? I'm upstairs. How are you I come out it? to smoke a cigarette. The fact is, she also goes out at night, leaves the baby with her drunken husband. The fact is, is that Supposedly, this young lady that she has a witness or a supportive support is a prostitute. <laughs> she does not work as a court officer. She has too much time on her hand. Okay. Did you want to come up and respond to accusations? I wanted just to, for you to see the, the court ID that I do work for the courts. Okay. As far as the prostitution, I don't know where they get that from. Okay. We do go out for a couple of hours, and my child is 12 years old. Okay. And her husband's not drunk or anything because she puts the baby down. Her, they're both sleep okay. by the time we go out. And the magazine. But if they really, if she wanted to complain about the baby, why do they wait till now to there's so much controversy between them to call ACS? Is this the first time that child services knocks on your door? The very first time. He's my miracle baby. Do you have any paperwork from ACS? I do. Yeah, let me see it. 
When did you call it? Since you've admitted that you called ICS, when did yes, you call? I called possibly two nights ago. Oh, mm -hmm. right before court. Yes. No. First of all, Your Honor, I just no, want to say. No, first of all, two nights ago is not right before court? It is. But oh. I wanted to say something. Yeah. Her How long have you is, lived there? I've lived there nine years. How long have you lived there? Nine years. Okay. So if the baby's lived there two years and the baby's always crying, why is it two nights before you go to court that you call I ACS? got fed up. And welcome back to the People's Court, Harvey Levin here. So is it harassment that she waits until two days before going to court before filing this? Absolutely, it's a misuse of CPS and the, and the limited resources that we have. So she says that when the, the, the defendant threatened to whip her husband's butt, is that grounds, even if she called right at the time, for calling children's services? Since so she waited, it's... If, if she did it right at the moment, if, she, if, if the defendant says, got in an argument and says, I'm gonna whip your butt to, the, to her husband, is that grounds for calling children's services? I believe, it, yeah. She, if she felt her life was in danger, she was threatened. You all, you're saying no. No, absolutely not. You can't be taken to court on just simple words with no meaning behind them. I think it's just a, a vindictive. Vindictive, not even that. It just seems like it's just like a figure of speech. Fair enough. Going inside the courtroom. You got fed up <laughs> after you filed a lawsuit and no, while you're in a war with reason. her. No, after you filed a suit for two hundred dollars a month for a magazine. It was not that reason, Your Honor. And the fact of is, is this, is this how they gave that you called Child Protective Services two nights ago? You, you might mm -hmm. agree yeah, with that. I would right. agree with that. It and does seem suspicious, but it was. It does I seem like you're trying to harass her, to doesn't here. it? Doesn't it? Doesn't it seem like you're trying to harass her? No. Yeah. Let me tell each and every one of you something. Mm -hmm. Okay. First of all, I'm going to start with you. I'm going to end with her, but I want to start with you. Yes, ma'am. All right. You have a life. You have a husband. You have a baby. Yes. A miracle baby. Mm -hmm. The last thing you want to do is get sucked into this garbage. Yeah. Okay. You don't need an officer to tell you that. You don't need me to tell you that. You, life for you in this apartment building is going to be different now. Now you're not going to be able to be friends with the other people because it's going to be very complicated because you have a war going on. Yeah. My suggestion to you is that if she wants to be crazy, let her be crazy. And you guys maybe should find another place because that's no way to live. That's not peace. It's not like all you, don't you dare, don't you dare bobble your head while I'm talking. You should be able to love your neighbors and have peace. She's nuts. She's nuts. Yes. You do not want to continue to keep yourself in this position. Thank you. Okay. I'm not, now, let me just explain. I agree with her. I don't think you're that innocent. I think that you have partaken in the shenanigans a little bit as well. But I believe the one person I know who's escalating the shenanigans is you because you're crazy, all right? If you think that a court of law is gonna entertain for five seconds that a essence magazine that you loaned in November is going to net you a thousand dollars of profit, then you are crazy and you don't understand what the court system is about. It is not for your personal recreation. Child Protective Services is not for your personal recreation. Those people have real work to do, okay? There's real families in crisis and distress, and your little, personal, petty, crazy vendettas are not the subject of judges' lives. Get out of my courtroom, but not before you pay her $2,000 in damages for making a malicious child services report. Plaintiff comes out after that. I mean, really? Really? The fact is she also called ACS on my, my friend. The fact there is the judge has called you crazy for, ma for making yes, a $3.50 magazine. Yes, I may be. The fact is I have, a, I, I have a bipolar disorder. Okay, all right. Okay, fair enough. Do you regret that call to child services now? No, I do not. it's a nasty thing to do. I do not. You don't? No, because the fact is, is that she did not take her child out. My neighbor took her child out of the home when she was carrying a well, what's bat. What's life gonna be like at, oh, it's back gonna in be the old fine. house now? There, it'll be fine. I'll leave her alone, she leaves me alone. Okay, that's a good start. All right, right there. Thank you. All right, she just admitted here that, you know, she has a bit of a, you know, bipolar disorder and you understand that possibility? I understand it, I understand it, but you live and learn. You try to befriend and help people. She 
knocked my door every day for cigarettes or if she was hungry or if she needed 50 cents to buy a Lucy. I was being neighborly, but you live and learn. Why were you crying? Because the child was service. ATS is a little high, you know. That's a little high mark to harm my child when it has nothing to do with an innocent child. He's only two years old. He's my miracle baby. He's my first baby. And I'm 46 years old. Okay. You know? So I have to protect him. Wish, wish you some peace. Thank you. Harvey? You know, this happens so much where neighbors get in fights and they don't even remember what it's about. Be mature, go over to the neighbor and say, look, this is insane, we have to live together. Let's work it out. That will do it for this case, litigants, for the next case on the way into the courtroom right now.